So what's up guys, a few days ago I made a video where I showed you guys how you can use any gamepad to play almost any game on PC. Now a few of my viewers asked me to make a tutorial on how to use a cheap wired gamepad to play Fortnite and in this video I'll be showing you guys that but however this is a basic and simple tutorial and if you guys want a detailed and uh, in-depth version of this tutorial I recommend you guys go ahead and watch that video I'll link it down in the description box below and in that video I answered a lot of questions that you guys might ask so if you guys are having any issues with the software I recommend you guys go ahead and watch that and to begin with I'm using this really cheap $5 gamepad so I got this from a local store and as you guys can see on my game I have controller inputs now just to show you guys that the controller works, if I press a button, as you guys can see, I have queued up for solo game. Now let's cancel that and I hope after watching this video, you guys will be able to use your gamepad to play Fortnite as well if the gamepad works properly. So first of all, go ahead and connect your gamepad to your PC. Now use a port that works properly. Now if you're using a cheap case, the front ports might not work properly. In that case, I recommend you guys go ahead and use the back ports they usually work properly and also make sure that the controller you're using also works properly now if you guys are not sure if it works properly or not i recommend you guys go ahead and check it out on someone else's pc but i hope that you're using a properly working gamepad so let's get into the tutorial stuff so after connecting your gamepad you want to go to control panel then go to view devices and printers and make sure that you guys see USB generic joystick here. Now if you guys don't see it here, then that means that your gamepad is not connected properly, is not working properly. By the way, the model can be something else, but it should be a gamepad. And I hope you guys will understand that, that it's your gamepad. But anyway, it will be here, it will be showing here. But if it doesn't show here, then you have to change the ports or I think the gamepad doesn't work properly or something like that. Now it can also be a driver issue and if you guys think it's a driver issue then you guys have to download a universal driver. I'll link it down in the description box below. Installation is very simple. I hope you guys will be able to install it. So after making those sure that your gamepad is connected and working properly, what you have to do is download these two softwares. So here's the official page of the software which is X output. Now also make sure that you're downloading the latest version of the software. As you guys can see, here's this download latest table release. Just go ahead and download it from here. So you can download it from here. Just go ahead and download this. Now I already have it downloaded and unzipped. So I don't have any issues with downloading. By the way, if this video doesn't work properly for you, then go ahead and install all of the things that you guys can see here. But I hope you don't have to do that. But if it doesn't work, then go ahead and do this. And also the other software that you need is VGM bus setup. Now go ahead and download it from here for 64 bit, go ahead and download x64 and for 32 bit, download x86. Now after downloading both of them, you have to install the VGM bus setup. Now installing that is pretty simple. I hope you guys can install it. So I'm gonna believe you guys on that. Now X output will be downloaded in zip format. So you have to unzip it. You can use anything like Winrar for unzipping it. So make sure to keep this software in a separate folder. It will be better that way as this software will create some zip files. So after you have downloaded both of them and installed the VGM bus setup, you guys can see my controller is detected here. So as you guys can see that VGM is already installed written here which basically means the controller is working properly. So let's remove this. So first, after that, go to add controller, then edit, then go down here and configure all. Now follow this GIF and configure your gamepad. As you guys can see, the A button is blinking, which is basically the same button that represents A on your gamepad. So go ahead and do that. It will take some time, but do it properly and it will be just fine. Now after you have done that, go ahead and close this, then save configuration. Make sure to save configuration, otherwise you will have to do it every time. So after saving configuration, you can just press start and your controller will basically work as normal, like just like I showed you guys in the video. 
Now let me just set this up and it will take some time but let's set this up and after that let's get into Fortnite. And also if you guys think that this thing running in the background is a little bit of annoying then what you can do is go to tools then go to settings and then make sure to turn this one on which is close application to tray bar and if you guys want to always play Fortnite with your gamepad make sure to run it at Windows. So just go ahead and turn this one on and this one on as well which is basically the run at Windows startup and close application to tray bar. So after that just press start here and let's get into our game. So now that you are in Fortnite as you guys can see I have controller inputs here and I can basically use my controller to control the game. Now if you guys don't see your controller input option here then go to settings and then go to keyboard and mouse sorry keyboard and mouse I mean this one and from here you guys will find an option called ignore gamepad input. Make sure that it is turned off. It has to be off or it will not work. So make sure that it is turned off and also make sure that lock input method as mouse is also turned off. So basically make sure that these two are turned off to make this work properly. Now if you guys go to the gamepad option like the wireless controller option you guys can see we have Xbox One, Playstation and all the stuff here and the generic here and you guys can basically choose your controller model by yourself that's up to you but I hope this video was able to help you but if you guys are still a little confused go ahead and watch this video where I showed you guys a detailed explanation. So I hope this helped and well I'm sorry the controller I'm using is broken so I can't give you guys a gameplay but I hope this worked for you and if it worked then please let others know about it and this was it for today and I'll see you guys in the next video.